this whole idea of faith and religion has always been somewhat of a mystery to me. Okay, I, I didn't grow up in a, in a home with God. Uh, um, my parents were not believers, and but I've always had the realization that a lot of people have this thing called faith that I don't have access to, and they sort of fundamentally understand the world differently than I have been doing. Um, and so there's something about the mystery of faith that has always intrigued me. So I've always enjoyed reading sort of the, the uh, Quran or the Bible, even though I haven't been uh, a believer myself. So uh, I've always had a, a sort of fascination for this thing. And then in the last 10 years, I think with everything going on in the world and, and so much of it connected to faith and religion, I've had this sort of growing urge to somehow explore this um, with my photography. Um, so it's really that was the sort of uh, origin of the project. And uh, I started out as a photographer uh, living in Russia. Uh, and back then I heard about, I, I think I read about him in a Russian newspaper, the Messiah of Siberia, the one uh, I'm standing in front of here. Uh, and when I started feeling like this urge to look at religion, I remembered him and I started Googling uh, to see if he was still around. And as I found him online, I simultaneously found that, wow, uh, he's not the only one making this claim of being the Messiah returned, Jesus Christ's second coming. And then I basically fell into the rabbit hole and, and, and started searching more and finding uh, new characters. Now the thing is, you can go into any mental institution in any city and find people who claim they are Jesus Christ, right, in a fit of psychosis or something like that. Uh, so to s try to filter out uh, sort of that obvious kind of madness, I set myself certain criteria when I was looking for, for Jesus. Uh, and it had to be people who were already out in the public uh, making these claims. It had to be people who had had a consistent revelation over a long period of time. I mean, most of the people in this exhibition, uh, they have uh, sort of lived with this uh, identity of being Jesus Christ's second coming for, for decades. Um, and it had to be people who had sort of put their theology in a consistent system uh, through scripture or other means, and, and most of them have sort of a, a community of followers. So when, when I applied these kind of filters, um, actually I couldn't find that many more than these seven men. Um, you know, there are thousands of prophets and gurus and spiritual leaders out there, but people who actually claim to be the second coming of Jesus, that's uh, a much rarer uh, uh, thing. So, so the way I've gone about it is basically, you know, whenever I have been with one of the messiahs or one of the messiahs communities, I've sort of made it my goal to take everything I'm shown and everything I'm being told as the, the whole and complete truth. You know, I'm not there to um, really ask the critical questions as a journalist, you know, are you really the Messiah or not? I really wanted to rather take in everything that in their belief system and try to absorb it and rather try to describe what the world looks like from that perspective. I sort of got a different relationship to each of these seven men. Um, uh, some of them I got very close to on a personal level. Um, one of them I ended up sort of, um, we shared the same bed for a week. I slept in his bedroom, in his own bed. Uh, we got very close. Uh, others were more distant characters. Um, and, you know, I think you can probably see that in the photographs, uh, sort of the way I've photographed is also a result of, of the level of intimacy uh, or not that I got. Uh, one of the men in the exhibition I never even got to meet. 
uh, Apollo Kibaloi in the Philippines, um, you know, I, I simply did not get the access. So I treated him in the exhibition um, slightly differently than the others. Um, so, you know, it, it was, um, um, you know, I, I ended up with a slightly different approach for, for each of the, the seven men. Uh, my first memory of photography is actually, you know, I, I have a, had that picture. I was uh, uh, visiting New York with my parents. My mother is from New York, so when I was a child, we used to go visit our grandparents and things like that in uh, in Manhattan. And uh, on one of those trips, I don't know how old I was, uh, six or seven years old, something like that, uh, we went down to see the World Trade Center. And I, I had somehow got my hands on my father's camera and I had taken this picture straight up, sort of looking straight up at these two buildings. And, um, and, uh, and my parents ended up hanging that picture in uh, the living room wall uh, when I was a child. Uh, so, so the first picture I can remember having taken was uh, of the Twin Towers. Yeah, it's my first time. So I, no, I mean, I, to put it like that, you know, I, I think sort of, for me, uh, being able to bring this project here into this space is really a, it's a dream come true, for sure, you know. <laughs>